guys, it's not to Ace here, and it's been a while that I done a MMGS rewind on my main channel, the Showcase channel. So in this rewind episode five, it's technically the story of PlayStation 4. So here's the backstory: in 2013, the PlayStation 4 was released in November 2013 but the interesting part here is they were actually running out of them believe it or not and it's not so much of they're creating some sort of artificial scare or artificial demand unlike the Wii yes I know there have been a lot of rumors and rumbling but a lot of people kind of have proof that yes sad to say Nintendo kind of did and artificial demand for the Wii because again you know they went out to the GameCube now people bought them and for someone who bought the GameCube it was really all about playing Nintendo games aka first party game only but with the PlayStation 4 believe it or not a lot of people did buy them they're like they're just they couldn't keep up with the demand so in this rewind it's technically me giving a public servant announcement of I think April of 2014 is when suddenly it's starting PlayStation 4 to appear on stores, Walmart, Target, Best Buy. And of course, for me, I actually bought the base PlayStation 4 or the vanilla one on August of 2014, believe it or not. And then, of course, sadly, down the line was giving me some malfunctioning and then... I decided in January 2019 to upgrade to a PlayStation 4 Pro and in my opinion it was worth it. Different story there. So anyway, this showcase will be episode 5, just me doing a PSA on the availability T of the PlayStation 4. So the question really is in 2020 or the end of 2020 or it could be even 2021 because you know what's going on right now will the PlayStation 5 be the same situation which a lot of people wanted it and supply just couldn't keep up or will it be just like the PlayStation 3 where eh, because you know rumor about cost but again different story there so yep hello guys action once again just gonna give you a PSA and for some gamers who still looking for a PS4, well, apparently there's some PS4 now at Walmart. So, I guess check your local Walmart. Hopefully they have some. There's some in my local Walmart, just right here. So, if you're looking for a PS4, here's your chance. Round two. All right, that's it for now. Bye. All right. Apparently there's some new updates going on with the PS4. So now, not only Walmart has them. Also, of course, what I heard is Amazon now, I, th I think you can order them, and also probably GameStop. But apparently also I've been starting to see PS4 uh, at Target. So I just visited one of my Target in my local area, and I saw, well, one, but maybe they have some in the back, I don't know. But apparently they are starting to have PS4 again. Is it going to be hard to find? Well, I don't know, maybe in the long run again. I don't know what the whole situation is, but like I said before, if you're looking for a PS4 and you really want to get one, here's your chance. I, I guess they're sort of available now, such as Walmart and Target. But also, or you could also perhaps like what the Xbox did with Titanfall, maybe in the long run, they also might do a, a packing game with the PS4. I know, I think last year I heard the news that there was supposedly an infamous second stand bundle with the PS4. I don't know if that still exists. So, I don't know. That'd be nice. But, of course, I know there's one also, the Watch, the Watchdog bundle. I know that was supposed to be like a special bundle, but then Watchdog got delayed. So, but then I'm hearing that there is going to be Watchdog bundle. Again, it might be I might be wrong for this one, but we'll just see what happens when that game comes out. So, if you really want to get one, they're already available. 
but also if you want a free packing game maybe wait for it maybe they'll do it one at April or even May so yeah, it's up to you you know just just like what Xbox did with Titanfall which is they released the Xbox one in November and then four months later a Titanfall in-game packet with the same price so you know hopefully Sony might do something like that like an in-game and the system still costs four hundred dollars so yeah so again if you really want a PS4 I think they're sort of available right now at Walmart Target Amazon GameStop I'm not really really sure just, but you want to make sh just better check and make sure but again also just my personal suggestion wait when if they have a bundle with games but I think you'll probably get a better value just like the Super Mario, the new Super Mario Brothers U bundle so that's it well that's it for now I'll see you guys later bye hello guys Axel once again just doing a follow-up on my site thing on PlayStation 4 so I went to another target on my local area and I see PS4 consoles again but I don't know how long it's gonna be there but apparently I'm seeing them it probably means they're starting to appear again either people don't really care about the PS4 or they're just waiting for a better bundle so again like yeah <laughs> excuse me again yeah apparently more other PS4 on other targets so if you really want one here's your chance so go for it but for me it's just for me personally I'll probably gonna wait until they have an in-game packet for a PS4 so but I mean I heard rumors I mean since Infamous Second Son is out but I heard rumor I mean long time ago that Sony said there was supposed to be a bundle with Infamous Second Son so I don't know if that's true or not now but we'll see and also there was also the announced in Europe a watchdog bundle I think that one I'm gonna probably get cause I really wanna see what watchdog is so I know the, the bundles uh, I think it's confirmed in Europe but hopefully that's also in America but like my personal opinion that's always good if you buy a system with a packing game even if it's digital you know at least have a free game I mean, in my opinion, they should really do that, like an uh, industry standard, having a free game instead of console, so at least consumer will be more incentive to buy the console. And I know that wasn't really, that never was an industry standard. I mean, heck, even the Nintendo NES, they, they didn't they didn't start with an in-game packet. There was a controller deck, that was the first SKU they ever did. And then, of course, later on, they had the classic, the action and the power set so but if you want to know what those skills are google it so but right now for me I rather wait if there's a in-game packet like watchdog so for me watchdog you know so again you get better value with it I mean heck look right to the Xbox one Titan full Xbox one people were buying that because again you get the free game you get a free game and speaking of free game or Titanfall I don't know if this was yesterday only a day thing or this is gonna be a special event for just Walmart and Best Buy you can get Xbox one with Titanfall bundle for 450 because I guess I I guess some people are still not buying Xbox One, so maybe this one's more incentive now. For four hundred fifty dollars, you get a free game, and I guess fifty dollar off with the Kinect. So, you know, I don't know why people still complain about it, but you know, that's your own opinion. If you don't like the Kinect, whatever. So I'm hearing people rather have the PS4 camera than the Kinect, but again. That's your opinion. I got no problem with it. So, well, that's it for now. I'll see you later.